Professor, cut the red wire. <laughs> Way to go, Cozy. You did a great job reading that bomb manual. <laughs> Stay tuned as we continue the... Ah, I've gone blind! It's just a blackout, Wendy Elizabeth. Oh, well, we better find some candles. <laughs> uh -huh. Even though storms can sometimes be really scary, one can't help but marvel at the beauty of nature. The crash of thunder, the howling of the wind, the gentle tapping of raindrops dancing on my paw. The, the awesome power of a single lightning bolt. Huh? Hey, there's something out there. <laughs> Kumbaya, that cute bunny is in trouble. <laughs> breathe, Bunny, breathe. Give me a sign that you're okay. <laughs> He's coming back around. Don't be frightened, children. I found this big box of candles in the kitchen. We'll soon be bathed in glorious light. Oh, glory, the crisis is past. Smart, I'm sure. Oh, Jamie, look! He's eating a bunny! He killed, could you? Bunny killer! Here, children, I brought you a high caloric snack to calm your. Oh, my goodness, isn't he a cute little fella? Can we keep him, Mom? Can we, huh? Can we? Please, Mom, can we, can we, can we, can we, Mom, huh? Well, now, children, I'm not sure how well a little bunny is going to get along with Eek. Rodents and cats are natural enemies, you know. See, Ma, see? Uh, they're friends now, Ma, see? Well, as long as the two little guys can live in harmony. Mm-hmm. The bunny can stay. Yay! My new best friend. Some kind of appetite. Well, yeah, uh, my little tom tom was so empty. I was just looking for some uh, carrots. Yeah, uh, carrots. Well, I'll be. There's some perfectly good carrots right here. I wonder who would have thrown these away. Here you go.
you go, Mr. Bunny. I'll bet you'll enjoy those carrots a lot more than those eggs. Yeah, great. Carrots. Can't get enough of them. <laughs> you know, Crocodile, a good carrot really should be served just a dash below room temperature. Really? Well, I was not aware. Sure, let me just cool these off. Holy Toledo, what a mess! That's better. Here you go, Mr. Pussycat. Breakfast! Kumbaya, that's very thoughtful of you. You know what those eggs need? Just a little dash of spice. Hmm. Ah! Say, what's the skinny sport? Don't you like my eggs? <laughs> I worked so hard on them, too. <laughs> I guess my mom was right. I can't do anything right. <laughs> uh, uh, no. Mr. Bunny, really, these eggs are delicious, see? Mmm. <laughs> wow, somebody looks like he could use something frosty to drink. Uh-huh. This juice will be just the right thing to quench that parched throat. Mad Dog has got Fat Boy in his notorious chokehold. And it looks like, yes, Fat Boy's head's come loose again. It's bouncing all around the ring. But he continues to do battle. What an athlete. Hey, what's the... I must have locked myself in or something. Hello? Is anybody out there? Hello, Mr. Bunny? Last night I dreamed I ate a big marshmallow. That's funny. When I woke up, my pillow was gone. <gasps> the bunny, the bunny! Here, bunny, you can sit here with us while we watch the Squishy Bears wave over Jan one minute. I hate the Squishy Bears. And it looks hey. like, yes, Fat Boy's head is... Bouncing all around the ring. Come on, Wendy Elizabeth, cut it out! <laughs> It's not me. The bunny's cute little paw keeps slipping on the remote. Aww. Here, little bunny. You play down the floor where it's safe. Must make it stop. Must, must make it stop. stop. We'll make it stop. Gee, must be some kind of remodeling going on or something. We'll make it stop! Just one second there, Mr. Bunny. Dumb cat. Now, where was I? Gee, Mr. Bunny, this shovel could have hurt those unsuspecting children. That was the whole idea, you meddlesome fool! Oof. Maybe you should find something softer and squishier to play with. <laughs> oh my gosh! Don't look, Wendy Elizabeth! <clears throat> oh, Eek, how could you? Mom! Eek! Eek the cat! You cannot go around eating and whacking and generally abusing small defenseless two pink wooden creatures! We interrupt this zany cartoon to bring you a special bulletin. Funny madness in suburbia. He seems so cute and pink and fuzzy. At first, anyway. <laughs> but he took everything. He destroyed our lives and blew up our home. This is the bunny perpetrator. He is considered very deranged and dangerous. Do not attempt to pet or cuddle this bunny. If you see him, contact the authorities immediately. And he never did a single thing to you. And is that his part? He bumped off our cat. <laughs> So it's outside for you, Mr. Bunny Peter! And you stay out till you learn some manners! Hello?
Sally Mock Ranfour. Your infant has swallowed my grenade. Darvon Mello Dislod. Your hamsters do that funky dance. Darvon Mello Dislod. Mm. Hold it, Mr. Bunny. You're making that ladder very unstable. I didn't do it, I swear. It was this bad saw. It's a poor craftsman who blames his tools, Mr. Bunny. Now, do you have any last words before I escort you from this house? Yes. Oh, what's that? Timber! <laughs> there are tire marks on your forehead. Bach L. Lock. Ah! 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 I got you, I got you. Animals being territorial before, but you're just taking this thing a little too far. You're staying out here until you can learn to control your little dizzy fits, mister. Now that I've gained their trust and gotten rid of that stupid cat, it's only a matter of time before I... Oh, little bunny. Mm. Bunny, where are you? <laughs> there you are, you cute little thing. Let's play house. Here we go, Your Highness. I'm so glad you could join me for tea. Mmm, <coughs> you look famished. I'll bet you'd like a nice, big, juicy carrot. Mm. Oh. <coughs> All right, Your Majesty. I'll be right back. Mm. There's not even any tea in this cup. Well, this will be the last invisible tea party this kid hosts. <coughs> I hope that confused bunny hasn't harmed Wendy Elizabeth. <laughs> Say nighty night, princess. All right, you bad. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Eek, have you gone mental? You killed the bunny in a robbery attempt. <laughs> The cheese may have fallen off Eek's cracker, but he'll feel better after he cools off a bit. I'll get it. Ma, did you order a pizza? Ma, it's Eek! He's in the house! Ah! Meow! No, Eek! Please! Don't hurt me anymore! short of a picnic. Ah! Well, children, I'm afraid we have to separate the little creatures until Eek can simmer down. Right now, he's knitting with only one needle. Oh, I hope the little bunny's okay. I can't find him anywhere. Real sorry you lost your mind, Eek. Meow. Kumbaya, whatever will I do? What you doing all crammed in that box? Jasper, oh, Jasper, thank goodness. I need your help. My family's in grave danger. You gotta get me out of here. Wow, that's quite a padlock they got on this baby. What'd you do, claw the curtains? <laughs> oh, we will need the jaws of life to pry you out of this thing. <laughs> oh, say, wait a minute. Hold the phone, hold the phone, hold the phone. I have got an idea. If I could just get this bowling ball moving fast enough, it'll fall off this shelf. Hit this lock with such force it is bound to crack open. Sounds like a great plan, Jasper. Well, of course, there is a teeniest possibility that the ball could miss the lock and that you yourself could be in the path of danger. I've got to chance it. My family's in danger. All righty, then. Here goes nothing. You'll be out of here before you can say... Meow! That bunny's just nowhere to be found. <laughs> Eek was so mean to him. He's too scared to come out. 
Well, kids, let's not forget, Eek really is a good kitty. I think he's just a little sad because he might not feel as loved as he did before the cute bunny showed up. Oh, gee, I never thought of that. Yeah, maybe we've been a little harsh on him. He was here first. Come on, let's give Eek another chance. Yeah. yeah. Asper, speak to me. Hi, I'm Leonard Bolton, and this is entertainment tonight. Oh, no, what have I done? Eek broke out of the cage. He's got a bird. There's not a thread of decency oh. left in him. I just hope Eek's urges will be quelled until the vet opens tomorrow. <laughs> Gma, maybe we should get another better adjusted cat. Well, Wendy Elizabeth, I <gasps> It's gone. All gone. We've been robbed. Who would commit such a heinous crime? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Maybe it was the cat. <laughs> <laughs> So sue me. Must get help. <clears throat> oh, Ginger, they call me the Skipper. But you were so, so cute. You know, it turns out you're like totally diabolical. Funny how that works, ain't it? You bad bunny. You took everything. Come on, folks. You can't say I left you with nothing. Here. <clears throat> <clears throat> of cute just ran dry, bunny. Boy, I bet that gang will be happy to have all their stuff back. Gee, they sure seem happy to see me. Hmm, it's as if they're trying to tell me something. They're telling me something about this clock. I've got it. They're telling me this clock is slow. Hmm, wait a minute. This is a bomb. And I think I know exactly how to handle this situation. The squishy bears told me to cut the red wire first. I think. Oh, Eek, how could we have ever doubted you? Sorry I called you a defective brainstem head, Eek. You're the best cat ever, Eek. There ain't a crowbar motel on Earth that can hold this bunny. Ha ha! Thanks, I'm driving. 